What's up guys, JTails here for another 4 Glory video, this time with DDD. Let's get right into it, hopefully I can do well with this character. Um, I don't use DDD too much, but I don't think my DDD is bad. Um, I used him a lot in Smash Brawl, so I have a good understanding of the character. Um, hopefully it carries over and I'm able to show you guys in 4 Glory. <laughs> Let's see how, that, how this works out. I don't know what's going to happen. Alright, we have an Ike. Ike versus DDD. I think this is a pretty decent matchup for DDD since I have the advantage um, off stage. Um, Ike often has a hard time recovering. Nice block, but he chooses to jump. Whoa! That dash attack knocked everything away. Nair into up tilt, down throw. Oh, my forward air is missing at this point, so I'm gonna have to start. Um, oh, good timing. So this guy is being very aggressive, but he doesn't grab, he only attacks. Therefore, I'm going to have a decent time against him. At least I think I am. Just attacking all day. It's fine. So what I could start doing uh, against such an aggressive player, I didn't know down air was so safe. Can't shield grab that. So I have to start forward tilting the down air um, instead of trying to shield grab it. Jab, jab, jab. Let's see what he... Oh, he forward smashes in the wrong direction. He's going to side B. Wow, knocks the Goro back at me. Good stuff. Nice job not doing all three hits. Whoa, that was gutsy. I'm still living, though. I said in my competitive guide that DDD's main strength is his weight. I can survive so long. He countered, but that was the wrong move. He also recovered right into me. He's going to use side B again. Nice recovery. Let's see if I can get him with forward tilt, maybe. Smart smart job. He does jab 1, 2 into down tilt. Let's see if he's going to counter. He should be countering my up B. That's what he should, doing. should, should be doing. But I noticed that he didn't, so I just did it again. And I missed my neutral air. So we're going to reset once again. Jab, jab, jab. It's hard to sometimes fight Ike uh, on the front because he's going to... Um, nice job using just jab 1 and 2. I think it's very smart of him. Using side B to remove the Gordo. Oh. Nair into up tilt. Seems to be pretty reliable. Oh man. Down throw. Can I get the up air? I get the forward air. He's going to have to recover now. I don't know what he was waiting for there. I don't know what he was looking for. DDD doesn't even know. He has his eyes closed. Um, so that was an interesting match. Um, me getting used to DDD. Me getting used to this matchup that I've never played before. Um, I'm down to give it another try because I had fun. I, I thought that was pretty cool of an exchange. So when he down airs my shield, notice that I can't shield grab him. I have to use forward tilt to punish. So I'm going to start doing that. Um, Nair into up tilt was working very well. Um, Gordo's off stage weren't working as well as, it, as well as they usually do because Ike's side B can actually uh, defeat them. This guy is not countering my up B. So I could, I guess, abuse of that a little bit more. Um, he does time his attacks very well, so neutral B when falling down might not be a great option against him, but it might. We'll, we'll see what happens. Going on to game two, and he switched to Link. Maybe he feels like the projectiles might be uh, a better alternative for keeping DDD away, but I don't think it's necessarily the best choice. I think Ike might have been better. All right, he's going to be rolling a lot, as a lot of Link players do. Nair. And yeah, Link's, Link has one of the better rolls in the game. I'm going to just stand here and wait for him to roll. I'm waiting for him to roll. And I'm, notice, so I get a lot of questions of people asking me how to deal with um, spammers or projectile users, people who kind of don't approach. And notice what I'm doing. Wow, 
And that was his mistake. But notice how I'm not getting annoyed. I'm just walking towards him and I'm being very calm about it. I'm just walking towards him. What is the projectile going to do to me that, you know, I can just jump over, I can block, and I'm getting closer to him. He's not, he's not winning by using projectiles. He's not winning at all, actually. Back throw. See, I, I just wait for my openings. I don't, I don't rush or get crazy about it. I kind of just pick my spots. He's down airing a lot, and that's giving me advantage. Jumps again. That was almost really bad for him. He has a bomb in his hand, and he chose to down air there, and I got to back air him. So, please, please use this match as an example. Send it to your friends, because a lot of people will ask me, how do I deal with people who roll on For Glory? How do I deal with people who just throw projectiles and I can't reach them? Please notice what I did. I just stayed calm, I shielded, I jumped, and I, I kind of walked towards him. You don't always have to run in this game. That's a very big misconception where people run and then they get hit by things or they'll roll and then they leave themselves open. Rolling is not a safe option. It's, it just isn't a safe option. That's all there is to it. Um, it, it, it leaves you vulnerable at, at the end of the roll. So just sometimes you just walk forward and you apply pressure that way. And that alone kind of um, allows you to close the gap between people who are using a lot of projectiles. Speaking of projectiles, you, projectile users, Toon Link is one of my favorite matchups in the entire game. So let's see if I can um, actually demonstrate that. I'm pretty good against Toon Link. I have a lot of experience against the character. Nice air dodge into neutral air. No jumping. This guy doesn't jump, which is good. That's a good thing. I don't know how my Gordo didn't actually hit him there. Air dodge into down air. Alright, so I gotta stop going for my follow-ups. Because he air dodges. So he's not giving me a chance. And now that I recognize this, I can actually start punishing him for air dodging. With probably a bigger punish. And that was his mistake. He just went for it. Very gutsy play. Nice up B. <laughs> I went for the gutsy play, trying to get that spike. And this guy down here is a lot. I'm gonna throw him back off stage and let's see if he can deal with it. Early up B. Good stuff. But it still leaves him vulnerable, so it's not always the best option. Good down smash on my spot dodge. And now he's looking for the KO, so he's throwing out a lot of grabs, he's throwing out a lot of smashes. He's literally just trying to KO me. Back throw? That should not KO me yet, because of my weight. And I knew that. I didn't... Wow, that was the most interesting option I've ever seen before. Uh, against a DDD. We're gonna throw him off. Notice how calm I am. I, I don't care that that just happened. Because we're gonna we're gonna win. We're gonna beat this guy. I don't know how. Whoa! And no. All right. Thought he might have been beating himself there. I might have to start using smash attacks um, simply because he's surviving quite a bit. And that back air is gonna take it. But yeah, this guy is quite aggressive. Kind of fishing a lot just for for moves and openings. I'm gonna get my Nair into up tilt there. He loves that up B also. I'm just gonna punish his uh, up tilts. Very confused by his gameplay. He throws out moves sometimes when I'm not even near him. I could see Toon Link giving DDD uh, problems though, because of the projectiles mainly. Um, they actually just stuff the Gordo immediately. So, oftentimes. Wow. 
Just no disregard for anything. He's just going for it. Yeah, see, so I can't really use Gordos in this matchup as I'm used to usually. I should probably be a bit more careful with my uh, approaches. Just kind of use forward tilt a little bit more. He's looking for his back throw, which wouldn't kill me at this percent. He's doing a good job staying grounded as well, which I like. And good use of the grapple hook. Wow! I did not expect that to kill him. I really didn't. So that might have been bad DI on his part. Um, that was a good match. I, I enjoy the way that he's playing this matchup. Um, I'm going to give it another shot. I, I think I want to explore my options a little bit more against this Toon Link. I want to see if I can do better without using Gordos. If I can just kind of outplay him in that way and make some adjustments for you guys to see. I think that would be like pretty educational um, for you guys to notice. If I can make some changes in my gameplay. Let's see what I can change up. Because he throws projectiles, but he's very aggressive. He'll dash attack my shield. Oh, he switched to, to Big Link now. Interesting. He's going to roll a lot now. Nice. Good forward tilt. 17%. Okay. That's fine. Good air dodge. So this guy air dodges. Um, good grab. Alright. I gotta, I gotta find a spot to land. Lucky timing there. That's pretty much what that was. That's, that's literally all it was. He just charged it and hoped. And I messed up my back air, so that's fine. Nice job recovering low, doing his up B once again past the ledge, which I'm not a fan of. We're just going to gain some free damage here. Uh, no spike for me, unfortunately. We do ground him, he's going to come down with a move. Nope. Just really aggressive of a player. Extremely aggressive gonna hit him again hit him again he keeps throwing bombs I'm not sure why I don't know what he's looking for there either looking for a grab nice snare I'll give him that he's gonna do both hits even though it's unsafe and he knows it's unsafe that early up B I think it's a bad option because if I simply just blocked, he would be in a lot of trouble. But he's just doing it. Um, gonna just block that and throw him off again. Just gonna go for grabs because he, he's constantly throwing out moves without ever stopping. Okay. There goes that landing on uh, neutral B, like I talked about. Back throw, still not going to kill. Link is kind of heavy. Nice grapple hook. Alright, I'm probably going to lose this match. I'm not ashamed to say. But I don't think it's because I'm necessarily being outplayed. He's, he's, he's a good player. Um, he just chooses very weird options. I'm gonna just get my 10 per oh, 9%. Very aggressive. Look at this aggression. Let's see if I can bring it back somehow. No, I couldn't avoid that. DD is so big. So he has the right idea by, um. Nice jabs. Once again, I'm not reading his air dodges after I down throw him. That isn't actually a true combo. Contrary to popular belief, Link's grapple is longer than my forward tilt. I'm going to punish that with forward tilt. I am kind of uh, widening the gap, shortening the gap, sorry. Forward throw. Can I get a kill here? I was expecting another early up B, like he usually does. What? What was that? Back throw and there we go. <laughs> I am very surprised that I won that match. I really did not expect to win that match. I seriously did not. Wow.
That was a, what was that double Gordo? Hey, he got hit twice by the Gordo. I don't know what was going on. Um, wow. Good, good game. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one more match with this guy because he has an interesting playstyle that makes it hard for DDD to get in. But you notice how during the second stock I started adjusting my, my gameplay. I started using forward tilt a little bit more. I was just way more patient. He's going Pac-Man now, which I don't, I don't know if I agree with this, but I'm gonna approach him. Pac-Man is a bit more of a campy character. And I... Down throw. Oh, he's just gonna forward smash. Alright, we got them four glory Pac-Man moves. Yeah, this guy is extremely aggressive. Always attacking. Never, he's never not attacking ever. Which there's nothing wrong with that, but it's not the best way to play the game. Didn't get my jabs off. He just kind of somehow avoided it altogether. Just throwing random fruit around. You can tell Pac-Man's not one of his uh, best characters. That was cute, I guess. But he kind of just did it. My point is, he's not necessarily always thinking about his moves. He's kind of just running in and doing moves. And that's what I want to talk about um, in terms of gameplay. That's not how I want people to play the game. Um, especially people who watch my channel. I want you guys to think about why you, you do your moves and, and for what reason. You know, don't just throw out smashes. Alright. Literally, he's just throwing out moves because I'm big and I'm, I guess I'm kind of slow. Yeah, DD's landing options can be quite limited sometimes. I'm just going to keep using forward tilt again. Um, wow, that getup attack. The aggression once again. Wow, that was just a lot. And he taunts. Okay, that's fine. Don't taunt in before you lose, sir. Please don't. Yeah, it's not gonna hit me. Neither is that. Now he's fishing. See, now he doesn't know how to kill me. And he's fishing for kill moves. Thank you for the 2%, good sir. And that's gonna hurt, all right. Look at him walking around. Uh, crouching, rather. Did he? Uh, I guess I should have done forward tilt. That's fine. And I'm dead. All right, Did is a big guy. That's fine. I'm probably going to go Diddy Kong on him after this video and, um, yeah, just body him. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something um, from watching my DDD. Um, please let me know what you thought in the comments, what I can improve on. As always, we are all always learning and improving. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna about to body this guy. I'll probably upload it. Um, yeah, catch you guys later.